we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to talk about a very important Wyckoff subject. It's waves. Like any good surfer, a surfer wants continuous flow of good waves to ride. I do want to see Sorry, they don't want to see a couple of good waves and a lot of dull waves and maybe a good wave. They want to see a continuous flow of waves to surf. And just like any investor or trader, you want to ride a wave as long as it can go until it breaks on the beach. Yeah. Why is this so important? Richard Wyckoff himself put this in his course material. Under Section 5M of the 1931... Wyckoff Associates trading manual he put in some um, description of why waves is so important now I suggest you slow the video down and read this and fully understand it I'll go through and click the pages here's an important point thereafter you think in waves price action There you go. These words should be pretty much memorized by anybody who's in the stock market or any market. Waves of buying and selling and how it affects price action, trends, the overall market. Just a reminder, the big boys, the large accounts, that's definitely not me and probably not you, accumulate best on a downswing. They distribute best on an upswing. The market players, or the strong hands, move price to critical levels to release volume from the weekends. If a, if a large account, I'm talking the composite man, the, um, the bankers, or institutions, or hedge funds, if they want to take a position, they don't want to buy it on the bid, they want to buy it on the ask. So they have to get price down. Some news will be used, or what have you. So they've got to get price down to bus stops to get uh, people to release their float so they can buy. They'll move down... I'm talking about accumulation. If they'll move down to critical support. Um, they'll find where the stops are placed. They'll bust it and go lower just to create a bit of panic. And they might even they'll spend a week down there, maybe two weeks, even a couple of months just to get people to release. They'll even use you know, some tricks like keeping it down and keeping the market dull for a couple of weeks or months, even a year, just to get you to give up on the stock so they can buy. So therefore we look for weakness in an upswing. That's the distribution coming in. And we look for strength in a downstream because that's the accumulation coming in. The question is how to spot this on a chart with ease. We already have one indicator which is, I think it's pretty well known in the Wyckoff world. It's the RTT volume wave. Many people call it different names. If you go to uh, information and you scroll down, you'll find the indicator on the right hand side down here. RTT volume wave. And pretty much what it talks about is we want to see the, oops, we want to see the um, the volume per wave, the, the summation of volume per wave. And what we would say, for example, here's all this volume down here. So this is supposed to be a down wave, but the price goes sideways. So if it's not if it's not going down, it's got to be accumulation because all that volume's got to go somewhere. So some people it's got to be good old buying. Same here, we have got massive volume surge here, but the price action is poor, and it flattens out that's going to be buying as well. You can see the next wave fall off. Uh, we see this down wave here, that down wave there. That's pretty good selling because the price moves down. So we can say it's selling. Um, up waves, that's pretty good up wave there. And it's gone up. So we can say that's a... It's not a correlation, but it's um, in support of the action. So if price is going up, you want volume to go up with it, with no troubles. Okay, but this, this is a pretty good indicator and it pretty much does the job, but it is, it's just lacking... A visual representation of when one of these waves is not um, supporting an up wave. So if, the, if this is supposed to be an up wave, the volume is going up. We want I wanted to show a visual way of when the, one of these waves is not performing as it should. So just understand that indicator. Just go through and read that page, and you'll learn a lot about how that indicator works. Okay. Next one. We've done that slide, haven't we? Okay. Now, let me explain. 
in a up way, uh, sorry, price up movement, here's a bar high and low. What, what you really want to see is the close in the middle, high, or the high part of the bar. Which suggests there's buying going on in the last couple of hours of the market. So they're confident to buy in the last couple of hours of the market because price is going to go up higher. So they don't have no trouble digging in at the end of the market. Now I've numbered down here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these bars with high volume are named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, medium volume and low volume. The blue box is desired bullish action. Bullish action, sorry. The red box is desired bearish action. Now in a bullish uptrend, you want to, ideally you want to see blue bar, uh, the ones in the blue box. What you don't want to see is too many of the red type bars in an uptrend. And in a downtrend, you don't want to see too many of the blue type bars in a downtrend. Because that's basically weakness coming in on uptrend. If, I, if the red, if the red box, oh, sorry, if these uh, bar types are turning up in an uptrend, that's weakness coming in. Because the close is low and they're selling into the close. Okay? Well, I should say 1, 2, 6, and 7 are selling into the close. And 4, 5, 9, and 10 are buying into the close. And as I said down here, it's an uptrend. You wish to see bars like these ones here that I've described. And after you don't want to see bars like 1, 2, 6, and 7. That's 1, 2, 6, and 7. Because they're selling into the close. So you might have 1 or 2, 3 or 4 out of 30, 40 bars, but you don't want to see 15, 20 bars. Right? Because that affects the strength of the market going up. So Because that, that's weakness coming in. Same for the downtrend down there. So if you understand that concept, in an uptrend or a downtrend, when bars are showing weakness or strength, we can do something like that and adjust the RTT volume wave to show that there's weakness coming in in an uptrend or strength coming in a downtrend. So let's take a look at what we have going to show this off. Okay. So here we have um, BMY or Bristol Myers Squibb Company. I've chosen this because it's a got a good example of what I want to demonstrate. I'm using the Firefox browser. I'm using the Firefox browser maximize minimize screen tool to do that. Okay, so here we have what we have seen. I'll get rid of that. We have price action. We have uh, red bars, the down bars, blue bars, the up bars, and same with the volume. Now here we have the volume RTT volume wave that you've seen before. Price going up, good volume, price going here we've got a lot of down volume but doesn't go so far, that's bullish. Once again a lot of volume going down, doesn't that's still bullish. A bit of up volume, that looks good because it's equal. Down volume, that's bullish again, that's good. Bit of up volume and really screams out we have a bit of up volume so that looks good and a couple of small waves going on here. Okay, so that sort of gives us an idea, uh, answers some big questions. But it's not deep enough. I wanted to for those out there who wanted to uh, get a visual tool that shows weakness coming in on uh, upswings and strength coming in on downswings, I wanted to show this off right, in another version of the volume wave tool. Alright, so we scroll down here, and what we have here is the RTT Trend Power OBV Base Volume. Big name, but that's consistent with the other tools that have named the site. So what we've done is we've taken the volume bars. I'll just have to magnify in. Whoa, here we go. Okay, taking the volume bars, let's see how the bars, high, low, close, and all that. And we've penalized or, or uh, appreciated these volume bars to where the close is on the bar. Alright, so here we have a nice, this is just straight accumulation of volume, there's no penalty to the volume. Uh, where the bar closes. So this is that's the control test you might say if you've ever been to school and done a bit of biology or science or something, have a control test. I scroll down here, and as you can see here, um, I would say this this one here is pretty much confirmed. And as you see how it flattens down there, that's a bit of um, weakness coming in. So we go up to here, what are we talking about? See as the as the bars the close falls off, so the yeah here look at this is a good example. I'll just make that a bit wider. Do, 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 do. Look at that, high close, is low close, high close, high close, high close, low close, high close, and then as you can see, three bars in a row, the close isn't so good. Now, how much, how much it affects the bars down below is how much volume there is. So if there's only low volume, you know, adjusting the volume is not going to make a lot of difference. So it's where, where there's large volume, that's a 
material ingredients and how the uh, volume wave is affected. So in a sense, we've got good volume closing bars because prices are going high. Everyone's pushing the, up the close at the end of the day in most of the, most of the bars. So we scroll down here. So these volume bars, so here, these ones, these low ones won't mean so much in the bar accumulation down below. It's the high ones that matter. Because when we adjust those, they're the ones that make the difference. So as we can see here, uh, strength, 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 strength. And the weakness comes at the end because the closes on the bar under good volume were low, which shows weakness. The same for here, just across the way here, we've got a, um, a, down, bar, uh, a down volume wave. And as you see, it steps up. That just shows you the addition of volume. So what we can say here, this is, there was that much volume in this wave, and there's less volume in that wave. So that tells you, that answers you that question. But it doesn't show whether there's any strength coming in. And as we can see here, it's a poor performer. So we scroll up here because it's not going the same. It flattens out, then it goes up a bit and flattens out again. We scroll up there. That's because we've probably got too many closes high up in the bar where the good volume is. Okay. Or the down bars are low volume. And as you can see, this volume area, see how we've got some big up bars and down? See how low that volume is compared to the, this wave here? So, therefore, um, the volume and the price of the close affects, affects this um, wave down here. So, I would say, yes, you might have eyeballed that and said, yeah, the price isn't going very well. So, it's, you know, it hasn't fallen there, right? So, that volume is bullish. Well, um, the indicator here just confirms that. It just eyeball it straight away. If you, you know, you're looking at 15, 30 charts, and now you go, oh, God, what are going to work all this out again? Well, this eyeballs it really quickly and tells you what's going on. Okay, let's have a look. Now, what's very interesting is at the end here. We've got a big upswing. See a big upswing, big strong upswing. Big strong upswing from here to there. Okay. So let me just show that. So, so I would say between here and there is pretty bullish. And between there and there, so this is bullish. Confirmation looks great. And here the weakness comes in because the volume is going up, but this one's not confirming it. This is because we have good rising bars here. Look at this. Good, you know, we're concerned about high uh, closes on the bar high with high volume. And obviously we've got a couple of low ones here, but they're not affecting it because it's got to be on low volume. Blah blah blah. It's going up. Good, good strength. But as you can see here, look at these red. Look at these bars of the low closes. See all these low closes. So people are either selling in the last minute, uh, last hour or two, and it's still going up because they're what they're doing is keeping the price up to sell into, and it's been on for some time. And but eventually the weakness came through. So that was that was a I would say a bit of a worry. If anybody um, was bullish on that, and as we can see the little waves, the gyrations going on. We had a pretty weak down wave here. We got a, oh, sorry, we had a, a down wave here. That you know, hardly the daily ridges. So that basically means there's higher closes and good volume. Well, the volume is pretty low, so it's not doesn't mean much. But um, so we had a few high, see those high closes there. Yeah, so there's a couple of high closes there. But the volume was low, so it had less material effect. But what it did was it told the market there was no selling going on, so the bulls came in to push it up. And then obviously the selling came in again. Because obviously pushed that up to sell into higher prices to get a better cost average. Okay. So we'll go back to the um, chart. Now the bars below are the individual bars adjusted by the calculation. So these, this wave pattern here is a summation of these bars here. Now these bars here are the adjusted um, volume bars here. All, all we do is just add those up. As you can see, this is a pretty good tool to confirm or deny the RTT volume wave. Um, with, this, uh, with this data from Power OBV base. Okay? So I found that pretty good. Uh, it shows you very quickly where there's weakness and uptrends or downtrends or what's going on. It gives you an idea how strength of the wave. The, the point about it is this mark, this market got very bullish around here. As you can see, here two big down waves. The down waves aren't really confirmed. Bullish wave is, and as you can see, it was quite easy that it was going to go up because there was no selling going in, and it was demonstrated by the poor performance of the down waves with such large volume, and this is confirmed by the poor action 
<coughs> by the close of the bar, excuse me. <coughs> yeah. So I found that a pretty good indicator. If you're into watching uh, price action by waves, high volume and low volume, this will become an essential tool for those um, using the website. One more thing for those members who want to get started, these are the indicators used in the chart. Thanks for watching.